I was just going to say, Sandy, I, I was talking to, to you about this recently as I was doing research. I, I've been trying to collect all the confirmed known threat actor uses of LLMs in cyber attacks. And and the difficulty about that is is compounded by the people who are in the best position to see how threat actors are using these tools are the owners of the tools themselves. Microsoft and OpenAI have been pretty good about sharing that we know of, but there's no regulations requiring them to share. There's a lot of reasons for them not to want to be open about uh, malicious uses of their models. And then the other problem is if I'm a forensics responder who I'm looking at an attack, there are some specific artifacts and things that, that we should be looking at from an incident response and forensic standpoint if we want to try to figure out if threat actors used AI or LLMs. That, that's not standardized and nobody looks for that, right? Like a really good example was actually excellent work that was done by Mandiant. They discovered a PowerShell script. And when they looked at the PowerShell script, the commenting in the PowerShell script like tickled somebody's brain. And they're like, wow, this looks like it was generated somehow through an LLM prompt. And sure enough, it was able to use like specific language that was in the commenting of that script to tie it back to um, a specific LLM. But that isn't being standardized. So I think there's a real problem right now with uh, visibility into attacks that I don't see any current regulatory standard or even best practice, frankly, that is addressing that.